and welcome to this video. Today, I just wanted to very quickly update you on a new feature that Google Sheets launched recently that you can use on your digital annual planner. This new feature allows you to automatically color code your categories a lot easier than the way it used to be. So if you're interested, you can keep watching. There's just one downside on how you would have to apply this to your entire template to every single month. So if you are interested in adding this feature onto your template, please keep watching till the end. So I'm going to start on a blank tab. And as you can see right now, whenever I select a category from the dropdown, there is no background color associated to it. And if I wanted to add that, I could either do it manually using the paint bucket or I could apply some sort of conditional formatting to it. So the background changed depending on the text. But there is one new way that you're going to be able to do that, that I find is a lot easier. So make sure that when you're following these steps, you already have all of your categories customized. So as you may recall, you customize those in the customize here sheet. So make sure you give it a good thought of what categories you're going to be using throughout the year. You can totally add more. It's okay. You can come back and change this. But what will cause trouble is if you decide to maybe rename side hustle to side business, for example, and you already use that information in the dropdown. So just give it a good thought so you don't have to go back and make all those edits manually. And once you're sure about your list, you're going to come to this very first dropdown on day one of any month that you want, preferably a month that is completely empty. So you're going to click on the drop down and you're going to scroll all the way down until you find this edit button and you're going to click on that and then assign a color to each of your categories. The way it's created, they will appear automatically. So all you have to do is assign a color to them. So you can also select the color option and then click on customize and you can move this around for the text and you can move it around for the background as well. And as you can see, you get a preview up here. So let's do that one. And then this one can be purple. So I'm going to click on done. And then I'm going to get asked this question. There are other drop downs that are using these same properties. Do you want to apply the changes to all of them? And the answer should be yes, because that eliminates all the manual work. And as you can see, this updated automatically and they are going to work on every single day. And also if you scroll down into your to-do list, and you select those options, they are going to work as well. And you can go back and change them. So if you want to change them, just select one drop down, preferably this first one, and then click on the edit button. And maybe I changed my mind and I want this to be yellow. So I'm going to click on done. Again, I get asked if I want to apply them to all, which I do. And then it's going to get applied everywhere else on this specific sheet. Now, if you move on to a different tab and you start selecting items, those won't change automatically as well. So that's the downside. You have to go into every single sheet and apply these changes. So there's two ways you can handle this. You can either wait and apply a new color coding each month as time goes by. So you do it on batches or you can copy and paste. So I'm going to delete everything. I'm going to come back into this tab where I assigned my color coding and I'm going to delete all of the options that I selected as an example. So I'm going to make sure it's completely blank. Once I do that, I'm going to click on these J5 cell for the very first day, the very first time cell. And then I'm going to scroll all the way to the very last day. And then I'm going to scroll down all the way into the very last cell of the to-do list. So it's this one in the right corner at the bottom. I'm going to press shift and I'm going to click. So this should select the entire area between cell J5 and cell EC64. So make sure this is all selected. And once you make sure it's all okay, you're going to copy that area. You're going to move on to your next monthly daily planner. You're going to select the very first time cell of the very first day and you're going to paste. And once you do that, if you select an element from the drop down, then that color coding will be applied as well. So if I go to the next daily planner, select the first day, first time cell, paste, the same thing happens. So you would have to go on and paste it for every single one 
of your daily planner so they shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes so if you want to copy and paste from one sheet to another make sure you are using both blank sheets because if you're not you're not only going to copy this color formatting you're also going to be copying the text and that might mess up with your planner now it's important to note that once you do that each tab will have its own unique set of rules so if for example i change this side hustle one on the third daily planner so if I select this and then maybe make this red and click on done and I apply it to my other drop downs, this question pertains this particular tab, this particular sheet. It's not going to be applied to the rest of your tabs slash sheets. So if I come here and I select side hustle, it's still going to have that old blue format. So these rules are sort of encapsulated on their own sheet. They won't get applied to the entire template. So that's one thing to note when you're making these changes. If you want to change it here as well, you would have to go through that step of clicking on that tiny pencil and then click on done, apply tool. Using this is completely optional. You can still just paint your background with this paint bucket manually. It's completely up to you. I hope you found this useful. It is a new feature. I'm still tinkering with it and I'm going to play with it a bit more and maybe make a tutorial and show you how I create this drop downs and the new features that you can take advantage of for your own templates. So if you have any questions, please feel free to message me and I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching.